I mean, I do have good hair. And I think that's probably going to be my number one reason why I should be on Survivor. And this is, this is the one thing I would never do for a million dollars. I would never shave my head. I would, I would never even cut it past here. I mean, and I, I'm well aware that it's probably going to get really mangy. But I think that's kind of my style, even. Um, I'm, you know, the bubbly blonde, but I grew up having three brothers. I think I look like I'm probably a lot nicer of a person than I really am. I'm really spacey, but I'm also really good at playing dumb. I've mastered this to a T. I'm really good at it. But I think it would work to my advantage because people would underestimate me and they'd think, we'll keep her around. She doesn't know her ass from a hole in the ground. When I was living in Samoa, I actually had the opportunity to interview the Prime Minister. I was able to get out of him which cabinet member was a virgin and which one wasn't. And I didn't even ask. I mean, I think if I could get that kind of information out of him, I could probably get a lot of really juicy information out of other contestants and use it against them in the game. I can fish. Um, I'm a really good fisher, actually. I guess I started off, you know, fishing, yeah, with a pole. Um, and then I went to Samoa and learned how to spearfish. I got it done in Samoa, where tattoos originated from. And so I, like I've shown you, ended up with a fish. There were four guys, and you know, they were all holding me down and like wiping the blood, fanning the flies, and they just like hammered into your skin. And I felt like my bones were getting tattoos. They probably did. I do feel like I'm most confident when I'm in the water. I can hold my breath um, for about two minutes. Like, people in the street even come up to me and they're like, hey, you've got a great pair of lungs. And I'm like, oh my gosh, that's crazy that they would even like recognize that, you know, because 